Right, so we're doing number one on the back and sides, yeah? Yeah. And you want the hard part put in. Yeah, there's nobody have that line there. Yeah. Yeah, and then going over to the, going over to the right, yeah? Yeah, because we've got a couple of crowns on that side, so yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to show the camera the back, okay? Because it is very, very long. And we're taking all this off. That would have then given a clear line of communication to airlines and tour operators to say... So how long has it been since you last trim? You'll be able to give them a refund. I don't know. And this is the piece of the difference. This is why there is so much confusion um, about whether you'll get money back or not. Because the foreign office are not going to give them back. Back. Yeah. Yeah. February. February. Well, it was not a knowledge change. So OK. And, and Mum doesn't like the mullet. And I thought it was just stepping back. From, from this uh, specific issue that, that's been so harrowing to see the pictures of from Rose. Do you think more broadly that people are uh, two summers in a row now? Do you like the money? No, you don't like it. Is it Stan's decision for you to have the money? It was. They had to. It gave the boss crazy. Do you think there's a long term shift there or not? There is a lot of research we're doing that in a lot of the research we're doing around staycations. The fact that more people want to stay in the UK or sort of... I can't, I can't, I can't say anything. I think there will be questions raised. Uh, already people are telling me that they're questioning whether they should... My husband has a number one on the back of the side. And I think the Green Government is going to have to do a big job in showing people how they can deal with these crises in the future, because sadly they probably will be where you're going to see fires on different islands. And so, yeah, people will question should they be travelling to places which are perhaps more difficult to get to in times of crisis like this. Thanks so much for joining us, very much appreciate it. Let's go to the World Cup, where if you look at the ground, where is it?
you can enjoy your outdoor space for even longer. Now that is magic. How is your name? So what do you do on your tube? Uh, yeah, your channel. Yeah. Stop motion. How does that work? Doing brain exercises can help build memory and concentration. Yeah. Brain workout contains a selection right. of word, number, and logic puzzles to keep us active. To put your dog on there. Support. Put your dog on your dog. A piece of meat. The little fluffy ones, aren't they? Very fluffy. Very fluffy. You've got attitude like Harlequin. And whilst you are not going to do that, all the chicken pox rash I've caused long ago, I'm still here, ready to reappear. This time, as she was. Nine out of ten adults in the UK have had chicken pox. Right, now that they've got them from work. Show you the dog on the chair very much. It's entirely likely the virus that causes Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Um, it's like we've got one of the dog fishes where it's stored. Yeah, I'm not sure. Excuse me. Take control of your financial future. It yeah, I just has to be okay. of the Sky News Financial. That's a book me now, I can't think of that name. I think Dick was over many years ago, but they kind of forgotten about dog, haven't they? Yes. So they said, you don't remember Magic Roundabout? Yes. Doodle, doodle. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, that is really bugging me now. Interacts with us, sponsor of the Sky News Financial Reports. So Mrs. Huggles for well, his dog. Oh, I've never seen it. Well, the Russian gas industry has claimed it's I've heard of it. Is it really? It's a Ukrainian terrorist attack and shot down the road really? to really? Moscow. Really? How will these are coming out of the Senate against Russia after okay. an attack on the port city of Odessa? Well, Philip Ingram, former British Army Intelligence and Security Officer, is here with me. Uh, so let's touch on both of these issues. And uh, I guess, firstly, that this uh, reported drone attack in, in Moscow, uh, offset by well, quite relentless shelling of, of the Ukrainian port city of Odessa. Well, yes, drone attacks everywhere. You know, the two drones in Moscow got very close to Russian Ministry of Defense in the center of Moscow. Tricky way. Um, yeah. I don't know where I've got Willis on. But they damaged two yeah, buildings. No oh, they didn't stop it. The Ukrainians um, continued. Uh, they didn't have an apple. They just carried on their arm. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow. That's when it first started. Yeah. Yes. 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 The last time I watched these standards was when Tiffany was killed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was the last time I watched um, EastEnders. Oppenheimer over the weekend, uh, one always thinks back to, to, to nuclear yeah, weapons. Yeah. 
And I guess my question on that is, when did you break up from the school? Like, we could have used, but but also you go back to the founding of these weapons and whether there could have been any other alternative. Tuesday. This was sort of inevitable that we get to these sorts of points, given their foundation. Yeah, so so much in that. You know, you, you can't uninvent technology. So it's great to ban things and say it doesn't exist. But if someone keeps it and they go tell the people they kept it, then Are you got any food plans for the summer? Would Ukrainians give up their nuclear weapons? No. We're given security assurances by Russia, the West and all the rest of them Russia and did. Um, so you have to do something recognizing that the threat will always be there. Um well, risk of escalation will Russia have we need to finish now. nuclear weapons in South Belarus. Uh, President Lukashenko has turned around and said that but what year are you going to go back into school? Put one foot on year five? Even though they don't come on. Ukraine and Ukraine said, well, if the West is supplying weapons to Ukraine, then I can... Right, how much do you want off of this, this side here that comes down onto your face? How much do you want off? Russia, if this all falls apart, what happens to Russian yeah. nuclear weapons? And we saw the that shot. Do you want to say it's above your eyebrows? Yeah? No, they they got close to one of the Russian nuclear weapons stores. Um, and this is where the nuclear issue will always remain there. Um, but it's something that we can't uninvent. And we have to make sure that robust policies are in place. Wait, is that short enough there? The use. And so far, yeah? the nuclear assurance okay. structure. Well done, you. Philip, thanks so much. Now, as both uh, Labour and Conservatives ponder their green policy, the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, is under pressure over his plans for an ultra-low emission zone in London. And just uh, how influential green policies might be to the future. Uh, it, of we've got a good plans for today. After those violations, we'll discuss all no? of that. Uh, joining me is Professor in Energy and Climate at Lancaster University, Rebecca Willis. Thanks so much for, for joining me on this on this topic. Just stepping back a, a little bit before we dive into perhaps the consequences of last week's by-elections. Is it fair to say that uh, in this country, relative to say other developed nations? Both sides of the political aisle have voters who are quite pro-environment policies, or, or is that a, a, a leap? Yes, it, it's well, absolutely true to say that. People are really worried about the climate crisis. They see it on What's their favourite news subject to the moment with mm -hmm. work fires. Um, it's relatively, it? it regularly oh. appears to be you know, the top three, four, five concerns. Have when they talk to you, like drawing like and detailed work that we do, when drawing. we sit down and talk to people about yeah, the very, very and very that concern really strongly right across the political spectrum. Do you know what my teacher used to I say mean, to me about of, art? Uh, I guess at least you can't draw a straight line, even with the edge of a ruler. But also, this by election and focusing on the expansion of the ultra low emission zone was punishing uh, people too much who are already struggling financially. Um, has there been a, a push too hard towards these policies that risks damaging... Did you put any of your pictures on YouTube as well that you draw? Or, or is that itself a, a bit of a leap? And in fact, uh, no? voters yeah. would yeah. rather welcome yeah. these policies and actually that again? Yeah. that this yeah. was perhaps an aberration. You've only got one video of you drawing. Wrong to respond to last week's by elections by raining back on green policies. In fact, the lesson is absolutely opposite that people are really worried about climate change and the threat to nature. They want to see a confident response from government and they would reward politicians who provide that leadership. Mm -hmm. Having said that, this isn't a free pass. It's really important that politicians design policies that actually link to people's aspirations, that link to the kinds of lives that they want to live. So well, you. You know, that, that means um, good, fair, affordable public transport. It means um, community control over and renewables, that kind of thing. Those are the policies which are um, appealing to people in two ways, appealing to their own lives and aspirations, but also appealing to them in that they, they respond to the climate and nature crisis. I guess it's an open debate as to, as to whether the, that policy itself was a helpful hindrance in, in the by-election. But, but without going into that, you have some advice to politicians about how they can make sure policies in this area really do connect and, and are really uh, welcomed uh, by voters. And, and one of them is making it more clear that it is there to help individual voters, even if that's more over the long term than the short term. Is that right? Yeah. So we need policies that fit with people's aspirations and lives. And one of the best ways of 
developing those policies is actually to sit down with people and ask them. So a couple of years ago, I was part of an incredible experiment, Climate Assembly UK, where we brought together well, a hundred of representatives of countries and asked them to design policies for net zero um, that they support. And they came up with really sensible answers. So my top recommendation to politicians would be be very bold and confident in your leadership around the climate and environment, but also be humble that you don't necessarily have the answer to yourself. Talk to people about how to design those policies, policies that bring jobs, that improve people's lives, obviously that improve um, air quality. And um, by talking to people, by being much more humble about the way that you develop policy, you'll develop a much more working Thank you so much. Well, 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 Facial wash is tough on makeup and oil, but kind to your skin. It's better than B5 and B, but still feels smooth and soft to your sharp and wash. Simply, everything your skin needs, nothing but better.